target 1300 feet below. Please complete boarding procedure before getting in. Roger that. Have a ton of tickets. Let's party! Like they love you so much. They're not gonna let you go. No problem. You guys are roast chicken. All right. Sorry for the long opening, but uh, seriously, just in that opening, I wanted to use like eight different scenes for an opening, and I couldn't possibly cut it down any. This is Metal Wolf Chaos my very first Xbox game, because I just got my Xbox, and I'm both very happy this is my first game, and also really sad. I'm happy because this game kicks unbelievable amounts of ass, but I'm also very sad because despite knowing that this console also has Panzer Dragoon and Jet Set Radio, I don't think it gets any better than this, I'm pretty sure it's all downhill from here. You want to know what Metal Wolf Chaos is all about? You really want to know? Because I don't think you can handle it. It's about America and fighting to protect it from terrorism. The only way America knows how, by blowing it up. You fight as the single greatest human being, the president of these great United States of America, fighting to protect the burning justice in your heart and the hope to protect all citizens of the great nation that is America. And you do so by taking a page out of the Japanese book and popping into a giant mech. Okay, technically I think it's actually a suit of armor that's just kind of proportionately big, but it's basically a mech. And I gotta say, Mechaprez is pretty cool. Now the whole idea is, you're basically stomping around from west to east, blowing up various sites of terrorist activity, ultimately hoping to destroy their leader, which is and this isn't remotely a spoiler because they tell you at the start, the Vice President. Although to be fair, the entire point of this is because America is so riddled with terrorism under your own control that he just sort of starts his own coup d'etat because he thinks you're kind of inept. And to be fair, I think that's legitimate grounds for action. And also depressingly close to what I think America's actual political situation is turning out to be. So, um, way to go political commentary in Metal Wolf Chaos. Anyway, essentially you are stomping around various cities and towns, blowing things up ranging from your own countrymen, which, alright, and tanks, to giant emplacements freeing POWs, almost like a more modern take on Jackal on the NES, which that's fun, because that game was great, and uh, essentially it's just running around blowing stuff up. The nice thing is this game gives you an insane number of ways to blow stuff up. Essentially, those giant red canisters on your back are more than just like jetpacks, no, instead they're giant weapon racks. And you're capable of carrying like four different weapon sets that you customize yourself based on weapons that you can either pick up in the environment, buy, or even just develop yourself. It's really mind-blowing how many different weapons are in this game, how they all sort of have their own different strategy. I mean, yeah, it does initially look like I'm just circle strafing shooting everything, but really, 
you'd want to save your bigger weapons for emplacements, bigger enemies, you want to save your smaller stuff as like a backup in case all your big stuff runs out, and you want to save like your handgun for like soldiers and when you're really, really in the weeds. It does feel like each weapon gives you a slightly different way to take on the various situations, and that's very cool. It does make this game feel varied, and the fact that you get so many as you progress, and the fact that you can sort of pursue your own weapon development path, also means that you get to sort of tailor make your own progression through the game, and if you like one particular style of weapon over the others, you can focus on that path if you want. And that's absolutely brilliant. Gameplay beyond that is very simple. You select the level, you are then briefed on your one ally in this crusade for American justice, your secretary, Jody, who then chooses to give each operation the most obnoxiously ridiculous name ever, which is fantastic. You are then basically dropped into the world and said, okay, go blow everything up. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That is very cathartic, very fun, and it just feels like one giant cheese fest. And I love that. I just freaking love it. Oh, and then you're treated to some, like, anti-president propaganda because they paint you as the terrorist, which, again, to be fair, given that the whole situation's kind of your fault because of your own negligence, yeah, yeah, that, that's not entirely wrong. Now, the controls to Metal Wolf Chaos are actually pretty solid. This game is absolutely screaming for a lock-on button, but that is literally the only complaint I have about this game because the mech controls perfectly fine. A button jumps, X button thrusts you into whatever direction you're facing, and then your shoulder buttons are used to fire off your various weapons. You then use the B button to open up your weapon canisters and swap to your individual weapons. Now usually you can swap to the weapons individually, but if a weapon requires two hands, such as a sniper rifle, it's going to swap both weapons, and that's actually very awkward, which is why I don't use the sniper rifle as much as I probably should. But overall, the mech combat in this game works very well, and that's something you kind of expect from From Software, seeing as they made the Armored Core series, which, for all of its faults, was still a pretty fun game for the most part. This game got it down, it, it's fun. It definitely leans to the arcadey side, focusing more on just blowing stuff up as fast as possible and just having a goofball time of it, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that, it's a ton of fun, I absolutely freaking love the gameplay to this. And there's enough customization options to help you tailor make your gameplay experience to fit your personal tastes pretty much perfectly. Overall, the gameplay in this game is fantastic. Now the presentation to Metal Wolf Chaos is amazing. I mean, it looks good, the designs to the robots are fantastic and stuff, but what really sells it is the audio design. And the voice acting deserves an award for how just amazingly terrible it is. Like, seriously, they had to be trying to make it sound this bad. The voice acting, the dialogue, it's just so incredibly bad, and it's just awesome and very quotable. Oh my god, the voice acting, like, just the voice acting and writing alone is a reason to own this game, because gameplay is fun, but just, like, quoting all the terrible, terrible, terrible lines in this game just totally make it a worthwhile purchase on its own. Now, if you want a copy of Metal Wolf Chaos, Unfortunately, I've got pretty much nothing but bad news for you. First of all, this is one of the very few exclusive Japanese Xbox games, which, yes, they do exist, and unfortunately this is one of them. Although, to be fair, given how much it's taking a bunch of stabs at America's sort of ultra-nationalistic views of itself, I kinda see why it never came to North America. <laughs> Which is a shame, because this game is just a giant goofball time. So if you want this, you're either unfortunately gonna have to get a region-free Xbox, or you're gonna have to import a Japanese Xbox, neither of which are really terribly cheap options. And that's not where the bad news ends, because this game is actually pretty hard to find and pretty expensive. Last I checked, it's like two to three hundred dollars. This is not a cheap game. Which is unfortunate, because... This is a must-have game that I think everyone needs, especially if you have an Xbox, and if you don't, you should have it anyway because it's amazing. Just so you could say that you have, like, the cheesiest game ever conceived, and also a Japanese exclusive Xbox game, because again, yeah, that did happen. But ultimately, it's truly unfortunate that the grand adventures of Mecha Prez will never be fully recognized by every person in the world, including those affected by it most, the citizens of these great United States of America.
Metal Wolf. Planning on wiping out New York this time? You enemy of the people, I, Richard Hawk, won't let you get away with it. I, Richard Hawk, will uphold American justice without fail. Yeah! Suck on my missile punch! I won't lose, and the reason is I, yeah! Richard Hawk, am the last great American hero. How do you like me now? Let's rumble. Eat my flame of justice. Ah, he got me! Justice is always victorious in the end! Long live the USA! Dear fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department where freedom in the United States wasn't built in a day. Good news, finally. Finally, the evil has been crushed. This evening, Metal Wolf, who suddenly showed up in New York, was thoroughly beaten to a pulp by Richard Hawk, piloting a special heavy mobile armor unit he annihilated the evil. Occurring at the same time from a confidential covert operation. We have also learned that underground terrorists and Metal Wolf sympathizers in hiding were captured in succession all around the country. Although martial law will continue until we are sure that your safety can be completely secured, for today and today only, let's celebrate this victory. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your Freedom Point Man.